Hell no, nah, it's over with, bro. It's over with. Nah, it's over with. You done. You done. What's up, everybody? Back with another one. <laughs> About to watch this Game of Thrones. Bro, why is Joffrey so freaking crazy as fuck, bro? This dude. Because insane. Uh, shout outs to my Patreons. Um, Brianna, uh, Alicia, Sir Cross, Bridge, Shay, Lisa, Rian, Anna, Fred. Thanks for supporting the channel. Y'all are amazing. Um, uh, ow. <laughs> Damn, uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> it's, it's been a minute since I um showed this. This is my book, Orion in the Green Flash. <laughs> you want to support the channel? That's another way you can do it. Check out my short films. Link is in the description. All right, let's go. I don't want to see all this. I should be feeling like it's 10 minutes long. Who are you? Oh, that's Arya. That was a good ass shot. Oh yeah, this is what happened. I forgot. I just watched this shit yesterday. I forgot. <coughs> Don't do it, gal. I'll give you one try, girl. Kill me and you're free. But if I live, I'll break both your hands. Go on, hit me. Hit me hard. You know what? Don't do it, cause you need your hands. That's one. <laughs> yeah, not with no rock, you ain't gonna kill him. So call you want. Truth is, you're lucky. You don't want to be alone out here, girl. Someone worse than me would find you. There's no one worse than you. <laughs> you never knew my brother. <laughs> you once killed a man for snoring. There's plenty worse me there's men who like to beat little girls men who like to rape them saved your sister from yes you did <clears throat> no he's not oscar if you ever see her again oscar who came back for her when the mob had her on her back they would have taken her every he will man who fights for gold can't afford to lose to a girl your grace Allow me to present the captains of the Second Sons. Miro Bravos. Rendal Nege. <clears throat> you gonna show them your dragons? Dario Naharis. You're the mother of dragons. I swear I fucked you once in a pleasure house. No, nope. that wasn't you. I didn't mind. I mean, that wasn't her. She licked my ass like she was born to do it. Nope. That wasn't her. That that was definitely not her. Go. Bring wine. We have no slaves here. You'll all be slaves after the battle unless I save you. Save. Take your clothes off and come and sit on Miro's. What in the world? Give me your <coughs> and I may not have you gelded. So, Barristan, how many men fight for the Second Sons? Under 2,000, your grace. We have more, don't we? Ten thousand unsullied. I'm only a young girl new to the ways of war, but perhaps a seasoned captain like yourself can explain to me how you propose to defeat us. I hope the old man is better with a sword than he is with a lie. You have eight thousand unsullied. You're very young to be a captain. He's not a captain. I mean, still, that's still too much. Like, what? If your numbers are right, you must admit the odds don't. I'm saying, like. Second sons have faced worse odds and won. The second sons have faced worse odds and run. Or you could fight for me. <laughs> you want him to fight for you? Flavors gold. We fight for Yunkai. 
I would pay you as much and Hey yo, whoa, back the fuck up, bro. Our contract is our bond. If we break our bond, no one will hire the second sons again. Ride with me and you'll never need another. Right. You'll have gold and castles and lordships of your choosing when I take back the seven kingdoms. You have no ships, you have no siege weapons, you have no She has ships. A fortnight ago I had no army. A year ago I had no dragons. You have two days to decide. Show me your cunt. I want to see if it's worth fighting. Do it, Louis. I don't care what his name is in this show. His name is Louis. Enjoying my wine. Perhaps you'd like a flagon. Louis. I need a flagon. And what are my brothers in arms to drink? A barrel, then. Good. The Titan's bastard does not drink alone. In the second sons, we share everything. After the battle, maybe we'll all share you. All right. <clears throat> I'm looking for you when this is over. Uh, hey, just throw a knife at him. Just throw a knife. Sir Barristan, if it comes to battle, kill that one first. Gladly, your grace. Yeah, slowly too. All right, king, or whatever you want to be called. I don't know what you are. Wait, that's your son? Half Robert, half Lobo. Show the boy to his chambers. Have the maid storm a bath and find him some decent clothes. I'll come visit you soon. Shit, I don't, man, I don't know. If I was him in that situation, I wouldn't trust shit. What do you mean to do with him? You know what I mean to do with him. Then why bathe them and dress them in fine clothes? If it needs to be done, do it. Don't torture the boy. Have you ever slaughtered a lamb, my king? Oh, he about to die. Yeah, see? See? If the lamb sees the knife, she panics. Her panic seeps into her meat, darkens it, fouls the flavor. You've slaughtered many lambs. And none have seen the blade. No, oh, I heard about that shit. Oh. Gotta do it humanely, bruh. Vizinia Targaryen Rod Rod Fag Hey, you trying to learn though. You're trying to learn. Vizinia Gerion rode for the smallest of the drugs. I mean, you already know how to talk. Still oh, large in enough, enough to swallow a, a, a horse whole. You already know how to talk. Well, never mind. Yeah, if you already know how to talk and you see the word, you probably could say it already. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's this word. Your grace. The feeling, you know? Two meals a day. Cold for breakfast. Hot for supper. I cannot complain. You don't belong in a place. We must do our duty. What's one bastard boy against the kingdom? Your grace. Why did you come to see me? Right, what did you, what, what, what's up? Came to free. Really? If you swear never to raise your hand to the Lady Melisandre again. I swear it. Yeah, shit. I, I can't swear never to speak against her. You have little regard for your own life. Quite little, Your Grace. Virgin unknown. 
You could have freed me yesterday or tomorrow. Why today? But you came to me now before this boy is put to the knife because you knew I counseled restraint. You came to hear me say it because you believe it yourself. You're not a man who slaughters innocence for gain or glory. Okay. When my son was five, he said to me, I don't ever want to die. I wanted to say to him, you won't, child. You won't ever. I hated the idea of him lying awake in the dark, afraid. Damn, you know, I know him. Mothers and fathers made up the gods because they wanted their children to sleep through the night. I saw a vision in the flames. Great battle in the snow. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's a good way of looking at it. And you saw whatever she gave birth to. I never believed, but when you see the truth, when it's right there in front of you, as real as these iron bars, how can you deny her God is real? I like that. I like that idea. That dragon bitch. She talks too much. Uh, you talk too much. She won't talk so much when she's choking on my cock. Eight thousand unsullied stand between her and your cock. My cock can find a way. Tell him. Is there any place that my cock can't reach? She'll tell me whatever you pay her to tell you. Dario Naharis, the whore who doesn't like whores. I like them very much. I just refuse to pay them. <laughs> no whore, my friend. She sells her sheath, and you sell your blade. What's the difference? But in this, what? Why is this show like beauty? They just Fight. love being like this, huh? God gave men two gifts to entertain ourselves before we. <laughs> the thrill of fucking a woman who wants to be fucked. The thrill of killing a man who wants to kill you. You will die young. What do we do about the dragon girl? We can't beat eight thousand unsullied on the battlefield. There won't be a battle, and we don't have to deal with our eunuchs. We only have to deal with her. She's well guarded. Tonight's a new moon. One of us slips into our camp, pass her on solid in her nights. Which one of us? Close your eyes, love. Of course, ambitious climbers don't want to stop on the second highest rung. If only you could take that final step. You'd see further than all the rest. You'd be alone with nothing but blue sky above you. So Lord Rain built a castle as grand as Castle Rock. He gave his wife diamonds larger than any my mother ever wore. And finally, one day, he rebelled against my father. Do you know where House Rain is now? Gone. Gone. Damn. A gentle word. Huh. Why not say slaughtered? Every man, woman, and child put to the sword. I remember seeing their bodies hanging high above the gates of Casterly Rock. My father let them rot up there all summer. It was a long summer. And now the rains weep o'er their halls, and not a soul to hear. Well, oh, damn. If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strand. What the f what? Well, damn. Well. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> oh, shit. She mean business. What are you doing? Your father's gone. As the father of the realm, it is my duty to give you away to your husband. What, what, what episode? I gotta wait, how many episodes until this dude gone? Oh. 
good shout outs to the uh actor because he he didn't have to act so good <laughs> This dude embodied this character so well. <laughs> That's probably why people hated him, bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go, you, you is down dirty. You may now cloak the bride and bring her under your protection. the king to laugh. Could you, could you? Thank you. This is so awkward. Your grace, your grace, my lords, my ladies, we stand here in the sight of gods and men to witness the union of man and wife. How the hell they get married before the king? One so now and forever. They don't kiss the bride. I'm not saying I want to see that, but I'm just saying like, like I thought that was part of the whole sh the spell. Have you ever seen one like it? I've never seen anything like any of this. In my life. It's shocking, isn't it? First time you encounter real wealth. When I was your age, I lived on one bowl of stew a day. Stew is a kind word for it. In Flea Bottom, we called them bowls of brown. Brown. And that the meat in them was chicken. We knew it wasn't chicken. Damn, bruh. Motherfuckers ain't that poor. Yeah, at least we can get a uh, scrounge up a dollar to get a, you know, well, we need a dollar thirty at this. You think I'm trying to? For fucking you? three dollars for a uh, hamburger from McDonald's. Good. That's really good. Where do you think it's from? Volantis. Couldn't even guess. Doesn't matter, does it? It's the real thing or it's not. You only need a tongue to tell the difference. Go on, have some more. And you just getting him off oh, coddled up just so you can slaughter him. That's cool. Crazy. A mistake, and that you have to pay somehow for every bite you take. <laughs> that thought had crossed my mind. Yeah. There are no mistakes. Uh huh. For us. Uh huh. I had a mistake. Only here because my father grabbed my mother instead of the girl next to her in the tavern. Your father chose your mother because the Lord of Light willed it. He willed it so you could be here right now. The power inside you, you can't even begin to understand. He brought me here to draw it from you and birth it into the world. We're both a part of his plan. Mm-hmm. So, 
seducing yeah. him. Seducing him. I don't understand this. Yeah, you see? See, to everybody. According to whom? Too good to be true. The silence is. Probably is. The stern looks, muzzled mouths, and dried up cunts. What have their gods done for you? Hmm? When you pray to them, what's their answer? The god is real, or he's not. Yeah. You only need eyes to see. You need more than eyes to see. You need a brain. You're taking that straight away from him. One and everything. The darkness that will swallow the dawn. He don't care what you're saying. And we can stop it. You and I. Mm-hmm. Look at him. He ain't give a fuck about one word you said. Boy, she's a sorceress. Source, yep, yeah, all right. All right. All right. God damn, bro, y'all about to show everything? Um. Let me show you what you have inside you. Come fight death with me. Don't kill you. <sighs> Um, fight death. Like, bro, I ain't trying to fight death with you. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. nah, nah, there's no way. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Last time I seen a scene like this, Jennifer Tilly killed the man. I remember Bride of Chucky. Damn, they're taking a lot from Bride of Chucky. Wait, no, that was another um, show. Is that a leech? Don't get off me. Don't fight, don't fight. They won't take much. Why are you doing this? I told you, there's power in the blood of kings. And you have so much blood. No. See? No, no, no. See? You're just... Not there! Not there! You can blame Sir Devos. He didn't believe in the power of King's blood. He wanted to demonstrate. But your brother will become your father-in-law. That much is beyond dispute. <laughs> Will you pardon me, my lord? Of course, of course. En enjoy. Of course, of course. Enjoy. Perhaps you could talk to your bride to be instead. I've got a lifetime for that. What, 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 what are you possibly gonna say, bro? Plan to be? Isn't it a man's duty to be drunk at his own wedding? This isn't about your wedding. Renly Baratheon had a wedding. Your wife needs a child, a Lannister child, as soon as possible. And? If you're going to give her one, you need to perform. What did you once call me? A drunken little lust filled beast. More than once. There you have it. Nothing to worry about. Drinking. And lust. No man can match. See, I am the god of jits and wine. I shall build a shrine to myself at the next brothel I visit. Drink. 
You can joke. <laughs> Date in juvenile attempts to make you fun <laughs> comfortable, but you will do your duty. The acting. <laughs> I fucks with the acting. The acting is top tier. Masters at what they do. <laughs> oh, the ones told Nobody, me. Nobody cares. What your father Nobody cares, bro. Especially her. Honestly, I cared. I, I really wanted to see what your father wanted to say for a fro. But congratulations, my lady. Thank you, Your Grace. Well, you've done it. You've married a Lannister. Soon you'll have a Lannister baby. It's a dream come true for you, isn't it? What a glorious day. Yes, Your Grace. I suppose it doesn't really matter which Lannister puts the baby into you. Huh? Maybe I'll pay you a visit tonight after my uncle passes out. How'd you like that? He wouldn't. It's all right. Samarin and Sabaris will hold you down. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Time for the bedding ceremony. There will be no bedding ceremony. Your respect for tradition, Uncle. Come, everyone. Pick her up and carry her to a wedding bed. Get rid of her gown. She won't be needing it any longer. Ladies, attend to my uncle. He's not heavy. There will be no bedding ceremony. There will be if I command it. Then you'll be fucking your own bride with a wooden cock. Oh shit. What did you say? Oh shit. What did you say? I believe we can dispense with the bedding, Your Grace. I'm sure Tyrion did not mean to threaten the king. A bad joke, Your Grace. Made out of envy of your own royal manhood. Mine is so small. <laughs> Poor wife won't even know I'm there. Your uncle is clearly quite drunk, Your Grace. I am. Guilty. But... <laughs> but it is my wedding night. My tiny drunk cock and I have a job to do. Come, wife. I vomited on a girl once in the middle of the act, not proud of it. But I think. This dude, bruh, this dude. Being a man and wife, don't you agree? <laughs> I'll tell you all about it, put you in the mood. Just to get them out the fucking place, bruh. Why is my lord? Tin Sansa. My name is Tyrion. Right. Is that wise, Tyrion? Nothing was ever wiser. Uh, you might want to stay awake, though. You know, Sansa, you should tell your uh, husband. Astoundingly long. 
neck. You have one. Damn, bro. Drunk as hell. How old are you exactly? Fourteen. Fourteen. Bro, I thought she was like nineteen, bro. Holy shit. Chalk won't make you any old. What the fuck? My lord father has commanded me to consummate this marriage. Yeah. That, yeah. I didn't even know she was, no. That's crazy. That's crazy. Guess that was the tradition back in the day, huh? Awkward. Awkward. Stop. Can't. Good, dear. Good. 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 I could. I would. But your father... If my father wants someone to get fucked, I know where he can... <laughs> So my watch begins. <laughs> Drops on the freaking uh, whatever couch. <clears throat> Oh no, that ain't Louis. Nineteen. Yes, your grace. How can anyone speak nineteen languages? Never been to Africa. <laughs> Give you something now. Yes, well, it was either learn Dothraki or grunt at my husband and hope. What do you mean reasonably well? Dothraki is difficult for the mouth to master. So guttural and harsh. Je drogo as dothraki me, thrashoma as jan at jahaka. At jahakar. At jahaka. At jahakar. At jahakar. Well, I suppose I'm a bit out of practice. Yeah. Your high valerian is very good, your grace. Gods could not devise a more perfect tongue. It is the only proper language for poetry. <gasps> no screaming, or she dies. Don't, don't, don't take her out. What do you want? You. Let her go. 
Don't scream, lovely girl. Oh, shit. You were sent here to kill me. So why haven't you? I don't want to. What? What do your captains have to say about that? You should ask them. Well, damn. Why? We had philosophical differences. Over what? Your beauty. It meant more to me than it did to them. You're strange. That's strange. This man you'll ever Simple. Meet. I only do what I want to do. More than this is supposed to impress me. Yes. Okay, that shit just weird. Why would I trust a man who murders his comrades? Right. They ordered me to murder you. I told them I preferred not to. They told me I had no choice. I told them I am Dario Nahas. I always have a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Be happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, and they're all mad. Hey, she... I, I get it. I get it. You feel me? But when she found out, you know, she couldn't be mad no more. Y'all still walking? It ain't been a week yet. Oh hell no, that motherfucker gonna start talking. I'm gonna say talking in goddamn riddles. Three-eyed goddamn crow. It's getting dark. We could stay here for the night. I wonder if they gonna make it. Where is y'all going? Okay, that's two. That's two. How hard could it be to build a fire? Ah, but it's been. A we can keep each other warm. Didn't they start fires all this freaking time? Or no? It's just a day after they left, or I don't know. I have no idea. You winked at me before. I doubt it. I saw him wink at me. He blinked. I suppose it's a rather philosophical difference between a wink and a blink. What? You know what, guy? Whatever floats your boat. On purpose. Fair enough. But sort of a name, yeah. this dude is just going into philosophical reasons and shit. It would be easier to refer to him if he had a name. Sometimes. Do you talk fancy on purpose to confuse me? What? No. This is just the way I talk. You read a lot. I'll build that fire. Oh, yeah. You don't want to stay uh, warm no more? Don't you think he should have a name? I don't know many boys' names. Let's see. There's Duncan, Kevin, John, Gaiman, Felden, Christopher. Craster. Craster? Uh, yes. Maybe, maybe that's not... Mormon. Mormond? That's a lovely idea. Mormon's a last name. Why is it a last name? It's a family name. For instance, I'm 
Samuel Tarly. Samuel is my birth name, and Tarly is my family name. You, you see, so my father's also a Tarly. His name's Samuel Tarly too? No. Randall Tarly. Randall's a handsome name. <laughs> Was your father cruel like mine? Yeah, probably. Different manner of cruel. Make sure that fire don't get too big. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are in a wooden house. <clears throat> Cobwebs everywhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, oh, hell nah. Time to go. Time to go. Don't. Don't go out there. I'll be back. Sure about that? Just want to look. All right, go look. Yeah, see, that's as far as I'm looking. Looking up. What's going on? I'm looking through the cracks. I ain't going outside. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Put out that fire. Go back inside. Oh. Hell no, nah. it's over with, bro. It's over with. Nah, it's over with. You done. You done. Double done. Mm -mm. It's come for the baby. Yep, it's came for the baby. Mm hmm. It wants the babies. Bro, bro, bro. Stay back. All right. You know what? You want to fight that motherfucker yourself? You could go, go right ahead. Look at him. He he let you live. You stay back. No. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. No! Okay, obsidian. Pick the goddamn obsidian up. What the fuck is wrong? See. damn thing back up bro that's all he had to do he was scared as shit i understand i'd have been scared as shit motherfucker turned into ice and broke damn shit needs a whole bunch of obsidian good luck finding that shit so i hope y'all like the reaction um like and subscribe tell me what you think of this episode and if you want to support the channel join my patreon all my full reactions gonna be uploaded there. Check out my short films, or you can get my book, Orion in the Green. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. This is.